Hi everyone, welcome to Movie World. Robert Waldman reporting. Guess what? I have a friend. I've got two friends filming today. This episode, this review is Zoe, one of our family's best, closest friends. And also I've got Shigwa, a one of a kind dog, great companion, and a nice movie fan as well. Today, we're going back to the year 2000. We've got an action thriller, tiny bit violent, but worth seeing because I find the movie topical. The movie is called The Art of War. It's not about war. It's about the United Nations and subterfuge and friction between China and the United States. Remember, this movie was made in 2000. The director, Christian Duguay. The star, Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes is a very good action star. In this movie, he stars as Neil Shaw. Now, Neil Shaw's job, he's a black ops operator. He does undercover work. He does wet work. He actually works doing bad things for the United Nations because the United Nations sometimes, to uphold standards around the world, to keep peace alive, sometimes they have to do bad things. Well, when they do, Neil Shaw is the guy they call. Neil Shaw gets sent back to New York and somehow winds up at a very swank event involving the Chinese ambassador. Now the Chinese ambassador unfortunately gets killed and this causes a big commotion with Neil Shaw, the FBI agent working for the United Nations undercover. Well, he gets fingered for the assassination. So there's lots of politics behind the scenes, bureaucratic things going on. The movie also features none other than Ann Archer. Many of you may remember Ann Archer co-starring opposite Harrison Ford in one or two of the Jack Ryan movies. She's very good. She plays a career bureaucrat named Eleanor Hooks, who definitely has her hooks into Shaw. She's got her hooks into a lot of things, which also involves her role as a confidant to the United States as Secretary General. Uh, the, Department of Security, I should say, Secretary of State, played by Donald Sutherland. Donald Sutherland, a Canadian cultural icon, his name in this movie is called Douglas Thomas. That's a play on Tommy Douglas, who was uh, Keeper Sutherland's father-in-law, the founder of Medicare in Canada. This movie, it works well, and it's very political. It also features Michael Bain as one of the assassins out to stop Shaw, when he uh, tries to uncover just all the bad things that were happening in New York at the time. The movie also features a wonderful Chinese, Russian, British actor named Kerry Hiroyuki Tagawa, who stars as David Chan. He's a businessman that may have some connection to what happened to the ambassador, his death. Now, what I like about this movie, again, I told you, it came out in 2000. This movie looks at the American Chinese business relationship because at that time in 2000, at least in this movie, at the core of the theme and the plot is a trade deal between Canada, or not Canada, between the United States and China, just like we're seeing today. It also talks about a pandemic. So this is a case of a filmmaker and the writers actually foreseeing what the future may hold. Wesley Snipes, he's very good. This is again one of those strict actioners Lots of action, lots of excitement, and a political overtone with big business at the core of all the misdeeds. On a scale of 1 to 10, I got to give The Art of War, I got to give it a 7. By the way, this movie was filmed actually in Vancouver, as well as New York, in Hong Kong, and China. It's a good, unusual movie that I think is very relevant, especially today. Thank you for watching. Robert Waldman for Movie World. Hope to see you again.